The U.S. Safeguard Secretary has given a stark cautioning around an up-and-coming risk of showdown with North Korea. Jim Mattis told officers that the U.S. military must do its part and be prepared for war. Tempest mists are gathering over the Korean Peninsula Mattis said as representatives keep on trying to determine the atomic standoff. His remarks came as the UN Security Council collectively endorsed intense new authorizes against North Korea, asking countries to lessen their offers of oil to the nation and sent home all North Korean ostracized specialists inside two years. RT reports, as the groups of the almost 28,000 troops positioned in South Korea were planning for the occasions, with developing worries over conceivable clearings from the landmass, Mattis touched base with dismal words. My fine youthful warriors, the main way our ambassadors can talk with expert and be accepted is in case you're prepared to go," Mattis told the troops. The safeguard secretary called attention to that there are imperative lessons to be picked up from history. Comprehending what turned out badly the last time around is as vital as knowing your own particular testing, so you're admonished, you recognize what I'm driving at here. So you gotta be prepared. Mattis, be that as it may hasn't surrendered trust on a serene arrangement yet. For whatever length of time that words and talk are the main things being traded between the two sides, and discretion is going emphatically, there will be no requirement for clearings or increment of troops, he noted, consoling the noiseless troops that there is still time to work out a serene determination to the atomic standoff. I don't believe it's by then yet, he kept including that the clearing of American regular folks would harm the South Korean economy, yet should the need emerge, the alternate course of action would be done on short notice. Mattis trusts that North Korea would not set out to disturb the Winter Olympics, which will be held in South Korea in February. I don't think Kim is sufficiently idiotic to go up against the entire world by murdering their competitors. Nevertheless, if confidence in guaranteed peace dulls the faculties and readiness of the officers, there is next to no purpose behind positive thinking," he included.